thank you for coming to the Funny Death or Early Learning Curriculum training. I'm going to walk you through the steps to ensure that you are as successful as possible. Funny Daffer was created by teachers for teachers, so I think you will, you will find it extremely user-friendly and beneficial. So here we go. It all starts with the lesson grid, so we're going to click here. You will find a full week of lessons for all of these subjects on the right hand side. There's also a teacher tip daily as well as an assessment focus and an area where you can add what you would like. Up at the top you will see that this particular grid is for three to five year olds but you can click right here and you will find a grid for one to two year olds, as well as an infant grid, a school age grid, and even an area that offers suggestions for parents to do lessons at home. We are going to be working on the preschool grid. Right here, you will see that it is a calendar. You can choose whichever week you would like. And of course, the grid will change as you do that. We are going to work on this week. This right here is the details. If you unclick that, you will see that it's just the name of the lessons. If you click it, it gives more information. Over here, you will find the print and view. You can print out or save as a PDF, all the lessons for the day, for the week, or just the grid summary, which is something you can hang in your classroom or outside the door for your parents to see. We have a full supply list. As you change your lesson grid, it will give you all of the items that you need for those weeks. And if you click on standards met, you will see for any time frame and any age group, all the standards that were met with those particular lessons within the time frame. So let's go back to the lesson grid and dig in a little bit more. On the purple piece, you will see the name of each of these subjects. If some of these subjects are not ones that you would like to do, you click on edit subjects and you can pull any of them to the archived area. And when you click on save, they will now be tucked away and not on your lesson grid. So that is very handy to customize if you would like to do things differently. Up in this area, you are able to clear an entire day if you would like. Perhaps Monday is a day off. You just click clear and there you go. The items are not there and Monday is clear. We're gonna reset the grid. If you wanted to retheme your day, so this week's theme is exploring the rainforest, but perhaps the children are really interested in dinosaurs for this week. You are just going to type in dinosaurs, click retheme, let the system do its work, and then it's going to fill in dinosaur items. We're going to reset that grid. You also have the ability with this same button to retheme the entire week if you would like. So now let's dig into the actual lessons. We're going to click on the color game. When you click on that, you will see that it has the name of the lesson, of course, has the details of the lesson, 
shows you the supplies that are needed, the learning goal, and the standards that are being met. And these right here are links to where you can find the good morning song and different colored shapes to cut out in our resource library. Makes it very handy and easy. So when you are here, you have several options. You can remove this lesson and it will clear it on the lesson grid if you do not want to use it. You can print this lesson. And if you click on it, it pops up as a nice, and if we make that color, pops up in a nice format that you can um, hand out or email to parents if you would like. And up here, for those of you who may not have seen this before, you can save anything as a PDF versus printing it. So you can save it and mail or email it right out to your parents or to your teachers and um, have it right there for you. The other options on this page, on every lesson page, is a make editable copy, replace lesson, or create lesson. So let's click on make editable copy. So we're gonna make it editable. And here it is now um, available for you to type anything you would like. So perhaps you don't wanna sing the good morning song. So you can just click that, um, get rid of sing the morning song and just have, and welcome your students. Um, you can put in certain colors or letters if you wanted to do it differently than us. You can edit anything that you would like. You click on the bottom and you click save and add to favorites. So now that is going to be up in your favorites column, but even better, right here, it says use as Monday's circle time lesson. So you click that and now your editable copy, and you could have changed the name as well, your editable copy will be inserted right there. So it makes it very, very easy to customize any changes you would like. Now let's go into another lesson. And again, we have the editable copy, create new lesson, etc. Maybe this time we want to replace lesson. I'm gonna click on that. It's going to take us directly to our lesson search, which can also be reached here. And again, let's just search for something to do with dinosaurs. Now, it is automatically saying circle time because we are trying to replace a circle time lesson, but you can also look through any other um, subject that you'd like. But let's click on circle time, click go. Let's say we wanna use this one. And right here, now it says use as Tuesday's circle time lesson. We're gonna click on that. And there we go. It is right there inserted into Tuesday. So again, makes everything very customizable and easy. Now let's do the last one, which is create new lesson. So we have removed a lesson, we've replaced a lesson, we've shown how you can print a lesson, how you can make it editable, and now we're gonna show how you can create new lessons. So it is very much like the editable copy, except you get to choose everything. You can well, just do pick something that's already there. We pick a topic. Let's say we're gonna do something space. What age group? Um, you're gonna save it for another age group if you'd like to. Um, you can pick out the learning goals. Let's say this is gonna be about, um, let's see, we can search the goals. Um, 
behavior. You can type in what supplies you're gonna use. Let's say we're gonna use bean bags. You can search for standards. And again, we're gonna just click test. Click on save and add to favorites. Oops, so sorry. I need to pick one standard. Click save, and, but that's a good reminder that you it has you make sure you fill out every um, section. There are eight sections for lesson plan steps, but you do not have to fill out all eight. It just gives you that number. We're gonna click and save and add to favorites. And again, use as Wednesday's circle time lesson. And it inserts it right in there. So what is wonderful about Funny Daffer is we provide you with 52 weeks for all of the age groups that we mentioned of lesson plans for all of the subjects. Again, we have removed two of these. So there are two more subjects as well as a teacher tip and an assessment focus, but you also have complete ability to customize. So it allows a teacher on their very first day to be successful or a teacher who's been in the business for 10 years to have a starting point already done for her and she can, he or she, can type in any changes that, that they may like. Um, one last little piece down on the search and create, as I've shown, you can edit, change, replace any of these, but if there were additional things that you wanted to add, um, I do know some faith-based schools like to use this section to add in some specific lessons. Um, you just click add and it does the same thing. You can go right to the lesson plans or the lesson search, pick what you want. Um, if you had put um, a bunch of things in your favorites that you created, you can click um, only favorites and it will put in something that you have already saved in favorites. Use as that lesson. And again, it's inserted right, inserted right there for you. So thank you for joining us for our lesson grid training. We will do another training on lesson search and resource library. Have a wonderful day.